Moments ago, the family of Nigel Collins addressed the body cam video released by the Atlanta Police Department on Monday. The 22 year old was shot and killed more than two years ago. His family says he was suffering from a mental health crisis when that shooting happened at Fogo de Chao in Buckhead. 11 Allies Bobeth Yates just spoke with the Collins family. Bobeth, what's the family's reaction after seeing this video? Good evening, ladies. Well, naturally, the family was devastated. They say their original goal was to make sure the public could see how their child was treated. But after we're seeing the video that was released yesterday, they say it is not the full video. And now they're calling for APD to be more transparent. Now, warning, this body camera video is graphic. In a UC, gunshots ring out inside Fargo to Chow Restaurant on Piedmont. This was from back in 2022. Now, attorneys for the family say Nigel Collins had at least 10 shots. Say they say they saw at least 10 shots ring out, and they accused the officers responding to the scene of using excessive force. The family says their attorney are also accusing the police department of painting a false narrative of the shooting and saying it was justified. Take a listen. I clearly know he's in a mental health episode, but of course it ended in the most unfortunate way. And now you have the police trying to spin a narrative. We respectfully ask for law enforcement to release the unedited version, not their editorialization. They've already put their narrative out there and we would argue their narrative is incorrect. But to try to editorialize to the public in a case that's still open, in a case where they have not made a determination of whether or not this officer was justified or not, runs afoul of the very spirit of transparency and justice. Again, the family and their attorney are asking for the Atlanta Police Department to release the full unedited version of the video. They're also asking the district attorney's office to file charges against the officers involved. Of course, we'll continue to follow this and bring you updates as we get it. Live in Atlanta, Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News.